I refuse to vote for a candidate or a political party who not only believes it is a human right for women to allow doctors to rip apart babies in the womb up to the moment of birth, but openly champion it like the Ammonites and Canaanites did when sacrificing their children to Molech. I will not vote for a candidate who encourages children and teenagers who are gender confused that changing their gender is in their best interest, who believe there are more than two genders even though entry-level biology says otherwise, as did God in Genesis when from the ground he created man and from the man he created woman. I refuse to vote for a candidate who demands that I call a person by the pronoun of their choice even if it spits in the face of the creator and partners with the lie of the enemy who wants me to turn a blind eye when their antichrist political spirit of demonic wokeness comes after my children in the name of inclusivity. I cannot in good conscience vote for candidates who during the hysteria of COVID-19 pandemic tried to shut down churches, ban worship, threaten pastors, and intimidate churchgoers. I personally refuse to vote for a politician who is openly hostile to America and believes socialism is the right path for this great country, either not caring or too ignorant to know that socialism is really just the little brother to communism and communism is Satan's political party. I will not cast a vote for someone who thinks that the government knows what's best for me and my family and wants me to bow down to whatever they say without question, who wants to dictate to me what I can and cannot teach my child. I will not vote that way. I love what 1 Timothy says. First of all, then I urge and petition prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be offered for everyone, for kings and for those in authority, so that may we, lead, we may lead tranquil and quiet lives in all godliness and dignity. So this Tuesday, ask yourself how God wants you to vote. And if you're voting for candidates or positions that's contrary to the basic principles of the gospel and the love of God, I would implore you, think again.